Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here today to talk about some different ways that you can hang quilts, large quilts, medium-sized quilts, and even mini quilts. I have another video that I did earlier with some of my specific ways for mini quilts, and I'll kind of go over that really quickly here, but also put a link to that other video. But in this video, I'm gonna give you some more ideas, some that you can do yourself, and some with some products that you can buy. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you something that I have an entire video on. Uh, so you can look up We'll put a link to that video. But when I have smaller mini quilts, I often just make little sleeves for the corners. And sometimes I'll add a, another little um, tab right here. And what I do with these, and you can watch that other video, is I insert the dowel through the tab into there. And then I, I cut the dowel off at this point so then that the quilt can just hang on some nails that you hang into the wall. So I, I do use this method quite a bit, and it's a good method. You just need to you know go to your local hardware store, get the dowels, put on these little pockets. I sew them into the binding. You can watch that video, but I wanted to show you a couple other ways. Uh, and this is a disclaimer. These were sent to me for free. These are called Classy Clamps. This is the large size. There is also a size that is a little bit smaller and they come in a natural finish and this finish and I think perhaps maybe a black finish as well. But these are really nifty little items and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna demonstrate with a quilt. So if I were going to hang, this is kind of a medium sized wall hanging if I were going to hang this quilt and use the classy clamps, what I would do is you unscrew, and so you can see it, it turns and it will, it will grip your quilt. And then you just do it so it's tight. And then I'm going to put this one on the other side. I'll bring it over here so you can see. Now for some larger quilts, you might want a third. This one, it, this one is not heavy. It's not very big at all. So it will, you know, two will do the trick. Then what I do is I flip it over and you can tell that there's holes that are pre-drilled in these. And they also come with screws. So that you can um, put the screws just partially into your wall. I, I've been leaving just about maybe three eighths of an inch out. And then the screw will actually fit into there and the hanger will slide up and hold it. And these are so simple to use because what you do is you actually, after you've put the clamps on your quilt, you can then take a yardstick or a measuring tape and measure the exact distance that these are apart. Then you can go put your holes on the wall, uh, you know, little tiny holes so that you can start your screws. And then you can just take it up and take it down. And the great thing about this is if you know that you might be changing out some quilts in one certain area, you can kind of vary the placement of these so that it might work for a few different quilts. So these are just a really terrific product. I've got two quilts hanging up in my sewing room with the smaller size clamps, and we'll pop a picture of those up on the video. I took a couple pictures of those this morning. But this has just been a really great product. I've been really happy with it. And we'll put a link to where you can buy these as well. I also wanted to show you a method that I've used for some larger quilts. 
and this is a, a, a pretty large quilt. I believe it's about 66 inches wide and maybe about 40 to 50 inches tall. So it's a rectangular quilt. And I had a sleeve on it that I, that I put on after I made the quilt. And I, it, it was hard to find a dowel 65 inches long and also, um, you know, to keep from bumping it off the wall when we walked by. So we came up with a little plan and I saw actually saw this on another blog years and years ago. So I don't remember where I got this idea. But if you buy a piece of trim, or this is a half dowel, uh, but if you buy a piece of trim that is flat on one side and you measure it so that it is the the width of your quilt and what we've done here is my husband drilled some holes so that this can actually be the flat side will go against your wall and the screw will go in I'm going to show you I'm going to actually put this through this holder Okay, so I've inserted it in there and you can see that I've cut the hole just right there so that the, the piece of trim extends beyond my sleeve and we can then screw this in directly into the wall and the flat side will lay flat against the wall. And so there's, I've got a hole just like it on the other side. I'll kind of slide this down. And I've already uh, got the screw in this one ready to go into the wall. So, and, and it gets completely covered. Yeah, so, so it will just barely, you know, extend beyond your sleeve and the screw will go into the wall and hold your quilt. And this is a really secure way to hang a quilt if you know you're not going to be moving it very often. Um, so this is one that I always have hanging up I, and just getting ready to put it up. And I thought, oh, this, would, this is a great way. But it is kind of a pain since the, the screw, it's screwed right into the wall. If you're going to move it very often, I wouldn't suggest this. But this quilt is going to be put in a place where it doesn't get a lot of natural sunlight. I won't need to move it. And so this is a great way to hang that. And then I just wanted to show you one more method. These are, and I have a link to the Etsy shop. I actually bought these from the man who makes them at a quilt sh retreat that I teach at, and they're called Magic Hangers. And they have a really high power magnet inside. And so he gives you along with it these little washers that are kind of glued together. There's three of them stacked together. And you screw your washers into the wall. And he also provides you with, uh, you know, the little plastic system in case you're not going into a stud. So that you put that in the wall first and then you screw this in. But anyway, this holds your quilt and it, it's very, very strong. For a quilt this size, you would probably need three of these magic hangers. And it's, it really does well. Uh, like I said, though, it, it, you kind of have to uh, size it if you want to use more than one quilt with this so that you put the width so that, it, so that a different, few different quilts will fit. You can adjust wear on the quilt. I can actually show you with a smaller one. So basically this is what it would look like from the front of your quilt. So and and so yeah you wouldn't use this with a mini quilt but a quilt with a big border this would just cover part of your border and 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 see how that snaps right in and so it's it's really really sturdy and this really does work well for hanging any size quilt, depending on how many of these you use. 
So I'll put a link to this and there you go. Those are a few more ideas for how you can hang your quilts. I hope that some of these ideas have, uh, will help you out as you go to hang and display the quilts that you love. So I hope that you got some good ideas from today's video, some different ways that you can hang your quilts. I know that's one of the most frequently asked questions I get whenever I show a picture of my quilts on the wall. I always get emails and comments about how I've hung those quilts. And I really do feel strongly about not using thumbtacks or pins inside, you know, placed through the quilt into the wall. So I hope this will give you some ideas of some different ways that you can do it yourself and hang your quilts and take care of them in the process. If you like this video, please share it with a friend. Hit the like and the subscribe button. And thanks so much for stopping by.